Hi, my name is Mathieu P. I'm a musician, producer, sound designer and Bitwig certified professional. Today I'm here to talk about the Sensel Morph controller and more particularly about its integration in Bitwig Studio. Many of you may not be familiar with the Sensel Morph. If you already know about it, you probably still want to watch just to remind yourself how cool it really is. You also probably want to know that every Morph and music overlay purchased after the launch of Bitwig version 2.4 come with a free copy of Bitwig, 8-track, a limited but still amazing version of Bitwig Studio. Basically, the Sensor Morph is a multi-contact pressure sensor, a very, very sensitive pressure sensor. On its own, it's already pretty cool as a high-resolution, pressure-sensitive trackpad or chaos pad if you prefer. But it has overlays for loads of applications and three of those are for making music. There is a piano overlay, there is an MPC style music production overlay and there is a drum pad overlay. When using the Morph with Bitwig, you can use MIDI Polyphonic Expression or MPE for short. MPE provides a whole new level of expressivity. You get to control any parameter you want on a per note basis. Think about it, this is kind of a big deal. For example, you could easily bend notes individually in different directions or apply effects on separate notes of a chord at the same time. When you switch an overlay, the morph instantly adjusts, flashes its lights and you're ready to play. It's completely seamless and it feels great. The amount of control you get for a very small footprint is truly amazing. The Sensor Morph script for Bitwig provides a tight integration with the morph. While any music software can be played with the Morph out of the box, this script makes the Morph even more powerful by adding controls for common tasks like track selection, effect sense, octave switch, clip launching, transport control and more without any mapping needed. It works with all the music overlays allowing for a unified yet very flexible workflow. Because the Morph can be used for a lot of different applications, like typing, video editing, gaming and of course music, it requires a couple of extra steps to set up the Morph and Bitwig to talk nicely to each other. The script is free, you just get it from the Sensel store. Once downloaded, just run the installer. It will put the files in your Bitwig control scripts folder as well as in your document slash Sensel Morph folder. In that folder you'll find the Bitwig maps for each overlay to be loaded into the Morph hardware using the Stencil app. Now Bitwig automatically detects the Morph and loads the script, so you're good to go. So let me explain you how things are mapped. First let's talk about the upper row because we can find it on all three overlays. It starts with the arrows so that you can navigate between your tracks. Then you have two buttons that are pressure sensitive for sends, so send effects. The more you press, the opener it gets, and when you release, it closes. If you want it to stay there, though, you could press shift here, that's the shift key, and then it stays there, so you can, you can set a value. Then you have your transport controls, play, stop and record. Every of those keys has an other function if you press on shift. So when you press shift and the arrows you navigate on the clip launcher because your pads here are not only drum pads but they represent the clip launcher if you press on shift. So you have 4x4 four four, but you can move to the next 4 by pressing on shift and the arrow. When you press shift and play or stop, it's going to stop all clips and when you press shift, it's going to record a clip. Shift record. So let me show you how you can launch and stop some clips. We press shift here and those pads. And here we go. Let's say now I want to stop the drums, so I navigate to the drums and I press shift and stop. Now I want to stop the bass, 
navigate to the base, shift and stop. Now we have the macro buttons here. And those are automatically mapped to whichever device is active right now. So you'd better set some mappings so that you control exactly what you want. And so on. So you have eight parameters you can uh, play with. Then we have those sliders here that have to be assigned to something. So I will right click, map to a controller or key and then boom and it's mapped and then uh, you have a second one so you can do the same so let's multi-touch so it works in different directions at the same time this could be a cross fader for example and then we have notes here it's one octave it's pretty handy if you want to play some drums and some bass lines the drum pads represent the 4x4 on the drum machine but we can navigate uh, on the all 128 pads by pressing shift and up press four times you see the the yellow dot so i'm up there meaning that i transposed the drum pad and I'm back to the original one. The notes here, we can transpose them as well when we press shift and here up, and there was an octave up. On the drum overlay, the upper row is exactly mapped the same as the music production overlay. So you have the arrows, you have the sends, you have the transport, and all the shift functions are exactly the same. Obviously, it's perfect for playing the percussions, like... Every region launch a clip, so when you press uh, shift, you can... You can launch some clips. The piano overlay has more buttons on the top, because there is need for an octave switch. Then you switch octaves. So the functions are the same on the arrows, this is extra. And then we have the sends, same uh, as on the production overlay. Then we have those two keys here that are left free for mapping, so you could have effects or whatever. Then we're back to the transport. The shift key does exactly the same. So when you press shift and you go this way, then you can launch some clips. Okay, let's have a little jam here. So now you should have a pretty good understanding of how smooth the Sensor Morph integrates in Bitwig Studio. Together, they offer a very fast and flexible workflow while taking full advantage of the next level expressivity the MPE standard has to offer. Make sure to visit sensel.com for more info. Thank you.